everyone, it's Jessica. I'm here today. I'm going to talk to you about using templates in Design Space to help you with um, t-shirt designs or if there's any specific type of design you are trying to plan, how the templates can make that a little bit easier for you. Um, before we get into that, uh, make sure if you are looking for more easy tutorials, head over to my website at mommybunch.com. Check out the craft section. I have lots of Cricut tutorials there. Also, be sure to uh, like our my Facebook group, or excuse me, join my Facebook group. It's called Craft Cutters, um, Cricut Newbies and Veterans, so feel free to join the group. Lots of videos in there as well. So let's get started. So over on your left menu, you're going to see templates. And what, if you have an idea in mind what you want to create, um, go ahead and click on templates. And then you will see lots of different options for things that you might possibly want to, <clears throat> excuse me, use as a template. So today I would like to do a classic t-shirt. So I'm going to click on that. And it just comes up with this very, um, very blended into the background image. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to see. But over on the right hand side, you can see that it lists classic t-shirt. And what you can do is you can click the little button for the color and you can change the color. Now it does not have to be the same color as your actual t-shirt. It's more just to help you get a visual representation of what your design is going to look like. But if you really want it to be realistic as to uh, what your design is going to look like, feel free to change it to the color you'll be using. You can also, on the top, change to the type of t-shirt. I'm going to be working with a women's short sleeve and I'll say a size medium. Now, obviously, different manufacturers have t-shirts at different sizes. So when you are making your design, before you actually cut it, you want to make sure that the lettering or the pictures are appropriately sized for your specific t-shirt. This is really just to give you an idea of what it might look like um, as you're creating. Now, I don't like all of these grid lines on here because I feel it distracts from what I'm trying to do when I'm making a t-shirt or something similar. So if you click up here in the corner, right here, if you hit it, uh, those will all go away. And if you want them back, you can click in the corner again and they'll reappear. But I like uh, having them off because I feel like I can see my shirt better and I can see what I'm trying to create. And now the fun begins where you can start adding in your pictures, your text, or anything that you are trying to create on your t-shirt. For my project today, I am going to create uh, some text. And I'm going to, oh, sorry, I did the wrong word. I'm going to do wife, mom, boss. And that's what I'm going to put on my shirt. Oops, here we go. Now I don't necessarily like this particular font, so I'm going to go up and change it. And I have one in mind that I really like. It's called Chloe. So I will put that on there. And then just resize it to how I think it will look good on the shirt. Now, I don't like the gap that's been created here between the words. So my line spacing, I'm going to move everything closer together until I get it where I like it a little bit better. Maybe that's too far. Let's try right there. That looks okay. And the letters, I'd like those closer together as well. Um, that looks okay, and then I can make it a little bit bigger and position it where I'd like it. Now, I don't like this color, the black on the blue, so I'm going to go over to the right side, click the color tab, and click on white because I really want it to pop out. And now I'm going to add an image. And in the images, I feel I would like something that is just kind of whimsical that I can add in as a fun little design on the side to just give it a little something extra. I don't really know what I'm looking for right now. 
Um, I just want to see what's available. Um, they have filigrees. Uh, I don't think any of those would look great with my project, so maybe um, I can type in, let's see, let's try some arrows. So we have arrows here. I have used these before, so I know there are some that I kind of like, if I can find them. Uh, these are the ones I used previously. I think I'll go with those again if I can't find anything else. Actually, I kind of like this one here. I'm going to take out that one. So I'm going to use this here. I'm going to insert that, and it co comes up really small, of course. I'm just going to move it over here temporarily so I can play around with it. Um, I don't want all three of these, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the contour over here on the bottom right, and I'm going to take out all of the contours, and then I'm just going to add back in the one that I actually want, which is this little one. Oh, I didn't take the big one out. Let me go back and do that. Is it gone now? No. Here, let me move it over here so I can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> all right, so take that one out. Oh, come on. I'd like you to be gone. Let's hide them all again. Okay, let's disappear here, mister. Why are they not going? All right, this, I guess we're going to use the big arrow because that one is being silly. I don't know why that's doing that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do this another way. Um, I'm going to duplicate this and then try to contour again. It's still not working. Okay, sometimes things just don't go exactly as planned. Let's see if I can... just don't know why that's not coming off. That big one will be fine. <clears throat> I'll just take the other one off. All right, plan B, use the big arrow. So let's give it a little bit of an angle like that. No, don't like that. Maybe, maybe like that. Too much. And it's just playing around until you get something you like. Move these a little closer, and they're good enough. So I have my t-shirt design. Um, now, if I would like to um, make sure that, so the wife, the mom, boss, they're all together. If I hit make it, they should show up as I have them spaced out because I had them on one continuous line of text. Um, and then on the second, I have my arrow on my other mat because they will be different colors. So I'm going to hit cancel. I don't want to cut this yet. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I want this to be orange, but it does kind of look good with the blue shirt. Uh, if you want to add anything else, you can always add um, shapes. You can add um, you know, more images if you go back in here and you search for something. Um, lots of things just pop up right away. So you, if you don't know what you're looking for, you can just scroll through until you find something you like um, and just pick out an image that speaks to you and add it to your project. Um, let's see, I'm gonna cancel out of there. So that's it, you just find what you like. You can use the templates to go ahead and, and get kind of a mock-up of what it's going to look like. And then if you hit make it, you can see on here that this text is just about not quite six inches across and or on the 12 by 12 cutting mat it would be to the six and then it goes almost down to 11 um, you know taking into account there is some extra 
on the sides that Cricut automatically deducts. But then um, don't forget the last step when you hit make it, when you are doing an iron on, is to make sure to mirror your image because you, you don't want your text to be um, the wrong way when you're pressing it onto your shirt. And then you can move it around however you need it to fit on your mat. But um, the arrow you don't necessarily need to mirror because it's not text, but you can if it's a different image that is not symmetrical. And then um, I would just measure on your shirt, double check that the dimensions that are here are going to fit with what shirt you're actually using. Go ahead and then cut and um, I will do another video at another time to show you how to use the Cricut Easy Press. So I hope this was helpful on learning how to use templates. Templates can be a really great tool to help you um, kind of visualize the things that you are creating. And they do have, if I click on this again, they do have lots of different things in here. Um, you know, backpacks, banners, bag tags, um, clipboards, all kinds of things that you could use if you're looking to create something and you want to see how it would look on that item before you actually make it, templates are a great way to kind of visualize that. Um, and then you can also check um, on the top here, you can change the type. So if you want to narrow it down a little bit more. So if you're looking for kids crafts, just click that and a few things show up. If you're looking for um, home decor, it'll just narrow it down to those items. So a great way to see exactly what it is you're trying to do. Thanks for watching, or thanks for listening and watching, and don't forget to visit my website at mommybunch.com and see all the wonderful Cricut tutorials that I have there for you.